from Humphreys High School in the Republic of Korea. My name is Erin Grazak and I'm the principal here at Humphreys High School. And I'm excited to welcome you to our virtual commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2021. Before I share a few words for our seniors, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the great team that pulled this virtual event together. Ms. Romano, Ms. Tom Peck, Ms. Sterling, Mr. West, and Ms. Wilkins. Thank you for all that you do for our students. Well, it's been another challenging year. We started the year in remote learning, and in October, we were able to welcome our students back to the building, and we had a great two and a half months together before finishing the first semester and the third quarter in remote learning. On February 16th, we were able to welcome our students back to the Nest for in-person instruction. We've been going strong since then, and with the help of a dynamic group of educators and support staff, we've been able to offer a spring athletic season, prom, and other end of year activities. Through all the challenges, our students remained resilient and committed to the task to graduate. Your hard work has paid off. At this point, I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you and your family and friends. We are all very proud of you. Please enjoy our virtual presentation, and we thank you for your time. Congratulations, Class of 2021. I'm Tom Brady, the director of DoDEA. This past year has been unlike any other in DoDEA history. I know it was not what you imagined or hoped for for your senior year of high school, but let me tell you what I saw this year. I saw DoDEA students around the world demonstrating resilience and adaptability when presented with challenges of transitioning between in-person and remote and virtual learning and back and forth. I saw you wearing masks, being socially distant to protect the health and safety of others and those around you. You made sacrifices for the good of others and the protection of those most at risk. I saw you caring for each other and maintaining meaningful connections whether it was in person or online, to bring comfort and encouragement during these tough times. I am so proud of you. This year you displayed compassion, flexibility, and just plain grit. You rolled with the punches, overcame obstacles, and focused on what was most important, family, community, education, and your fellow students. I am now more sure than ever that you will succeed in your future endeavors and that each of you will continue to make the world a better place through your actions. On behalf of your teachers, your principals, and all of us at DoDEA, congratulations, graduates. Hello, DoDEA graduating class of 2021, family members, staff, and distinguished guests. It's so nice to be able to join you all virtually today as we celebrate the graduating class of 2021. Our graduates have overcome significant challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Their school experience certainly looked different this year, with numerous mitigation strategies in place to support a safe and healthy learning environment and limited opportunities to participate in in-person athletic and extracurricular events. As I was thinking about this and the exceptional circumstances surrounding this year's virtual graduation, this quote from Maya Angelou came to mind. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. Graduates, as you enter this next chapter in your lives, understand that while you cannot control the events that happen to you, 
you can control how you respond. Respond with your heart. Respond with your mind. Respond with your voice. COVID-19 undoubtedly altered what you envisioned your senior year would look like. But in the face of this pandemic, you have exemplified what it means to be resilient when facing adversity. You, as a senior class, you have a unique shared experience that will bind you together for a lifetime. The class of 2021 will be remembered for graduating amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, but this does not overshadow your accomplishment. You put in the work and you earned this moment. Let's celebrate it together. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, my name is Jeff Arrington and I am the superintendent for the Dodia Pacific West District. That includes South Korea and Guam. I wanna take this opportunity to share just a few thoughts with you as graduates for school year 2021. You have been through a lot of things that most people won't be from this pandemic, your resilience, but I wanna share just a quick message with you. Remember how you took on this opportunity, I'll say, to succeed through these trying times. How you identified what you need to do, whether that be with remote learning and work at home, um, to overcome the challenges with technology or with teachers and technology or schools and technology, or that be the mitigation measures when you came back to school and how to be successful with all those barriers in your way and where to put them in between classes or carrying them around throughout the day wearing masks, uh, being separated from your friends. But through that, all of those challenges, you were able to succeed. You were able to overcome. And now because of that, you have success. And I want you to take that with you, to think about everything that comes before you in your life. If you can break it down into what you need to do to accept it as a challenge and an opportunity and find ways to overcome, you will succeed. Please take that message with you in your life. Put it into practice because I know you'll do great things. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, I'm Stephanie Kim, and I've had the opportunity to be the senior class president for the class of 2021. I would like to start off by sending my gratitude to everyone who has supported us throughout our high school years. Nothing would have been possible without the guidance of our teachers, staff, and parents. I am beyond blessed and honored to deliver the commencement address for the class of 2021. To say that this school year was merely unprecedented, while true, would be an understatement. We have transitioned between virtual and in-person learning not once, not twice, but three times. Google Meets became routine, and pep rallies, dances, and assemblies, and other school-wide events were no longer a given. As we became accustomed to the endless course of hand sanitizer and the sound of barriers falling off of desks, we have truly learned to adapt to the world around us. Be it taking 3 a.m. AP exams or simply grabbing a mask before leaving our homes, we have learned to adjust to an altered way of life. However, all of us are already familiar with adapting to ever-changing circumstances. I have moved 12 times in my life. While leaving behind cherished relationships was difficult at times, I quickly learned to look forward to the new communities, cultures, and classmates I would encounter and immerse myself into. Even if you haven't moved as often as some of your classmates, you have still had to witness all your friends come and go throughout the years. Being a part of a military community means that our personal, unique experiences are shared with one another. We are surrounded by peers who have been through similar events, and thus, we always have someone to turn to if you face any challenges. Late actor Bruce Lee once said, Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. You put it into a teapot, it becomes a teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. This year has been different to say the very least, but it has more than prepared us for the journey ahead. I'm confident that each of us will flourish wherever we go. Whether you plan to attend university, enlist in the military, or pursue another path in life, I believe that we will all be like water, that we will thrive and continue to grow as open-minded individuals. No matter what obstacles come our way, we will not be deterred, but instead continue to push towards our goals. As we tackle the next chapter of our lives, let's continue to be assiduous in all our endeavors. I am beyond thrilled to see all that we will accomplish in the upcoming years. As we share this last moment together as a class, 
let's take a moment to look back at the countless high school memories we have come to cherish over the years. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. I truly wish you all the best. Thank you. To the Humphreys High School class of 2021, I am honored to be standing in front of you to celebrate the memories and accomplishments of our class. This virtual graduation embodies the situation that the class of 2021 has dealt with for our last two years of high school. High hopes that the pandemic would be over by the time we graduated, unfortunately, were not met. Our senior year forced us to make endless adjustments as we adapted to restrictions to our daily lives, barriers that made it hard to see and hear, canceled senior activities, and alternating between virtual and in-person school. Ironically enough, these efforts to keep us physically separated brought us together in our efforts to make the most out of the given circumstances. Throughout these difficult times, we have persevered and are ready for the next chapters of our lives. For this, we truly are the most resilient class. High school is a time of firsts that allows us to continue learning about ourselves. Think about how far we've come and how much we've grown during our four years of high school, both individually and together as a class. Throughout these four years, we've learned a lot from teachers, friends, and community members. Now we are headed different ways, whether it's to university, military service, or jobs. Our paths may be different, but we are all committed to becoming future leaders and citizens of the world, ready to educate, empower, and encourage others. We are on track to do great things for our world. Even today, our lists of accomplishments are growing and they will continue doing so. Graduation simultaneously marks the end to a memorable chapter of our lives and the start of a new chapter characterized by limitless curiosity and exploration. Each of us has our own books that we can now take charge of, filling up new pages as we go on. Each obstacle, achievement, and growth will be documented in our books. I think we can confidently say that we learned the most this year. Flexibility was essential and determination was evident. We will take these valuable lessons learned, skills harnessed, and friendships made as we embark on our next journeys. Class of 2021, we are truly incredible. The pandemic has only highlighted the things that we are capable of and we are a part of history. I wish you all nothing but the best. Good luck and congratulations, seniors. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021, Camp Humphreys High School. This is a proud moment for you and for your families and all that you've accomplished is one of your early milestones in life. As you take this major step in shaping your legacy in this world, I would like to leave you with a couple thoughts. First of all, the journey. Your graduation is an extraordinary occasion in your life. However, your journey doesn't stop here. Wherever your journey takes you, continue to build upon it. Set goals and achieve those objectives that will help you shape your future for something bigger and more positive in this world. Whether you go to college, serve in the military, or choose another path in life, I encourage you to use your time, talent, and gifts to make your community, country, and our world a better place to live. Now there are obstacles, and I won't sugarcoat it. The journey that you'll face will not be that easy. Many of these challenges can either be something that will help strengthen you or keep you from achieving your goals. The good thing is you hold the key to choosing how these obstacles can influence your path to success. Now, as Thomas Jefferson said, if you want something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. Personal growth. As I said, life is a journey with many challenges to experience, to learn, followed by countless hurdles that you'll have to overcome. Continue to grow and learn new skills that will carry with you the rest of your life. So in conclusion, once again, congratulations to you and your families on this very special occasion. So class of 2021, you've already completed the first milestone in your life. And now it's time that you take the next steps in the adventure and to begin building 
upon your future. Thank you again, congratulations, and Pacific Victors. Lance Allen. Sergio Andres Altamiranda Cantillo. Graduation is a month away and thank you to everybody who helped me get here. Um, I'm so excited to pay taxes for the rest of my life and sell my soul to the government. Devlin Ash. Way to go, class of 2021. Happy graduation. Daul Bay. dad for always being there for me and teaching me everything that I know and thank you to all my friends for pushing me to my limits all throughout high school. Bethany Barnett. Bradley Barnett. Live life how you want to live it because it's your life that you're going to be living. Faustino Becerra. Thank you to my parents and friends who helped me get through all the adversity and obstacles during my time here. Aaron Betts. Nimsy Lee Bonilla. Elodie Boudreau. Sophie Bradshaw. Gabrielle Brass. Jaden Brinkerhoff. I want to thank all my friends and all my family for helping me get to high school. Christopher Brown. Hi, my name is Christopher Brown. Uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone that helped me get here. Curtis Brown. Congratulations, everybody. I'm proud we all made it here together, and I hope we go strong for the next year. Aaron Bruce. Haley Bursley. Juan Calle Lopez. Rihanna Jean Camacho. Um, I would personally like to thank my family for always being there for me, the very few friends I had throughout my high school years, and Miss Lucy. Elizabeth Campbell. Jimmy Joe Castro. Jonathan Sellis. Samantha Cho Grant. Yuna Choi. Charlotte Chu. Nicole Christian. Hi, I just want to thank my parents for supporting me all this time and my friends were always there for me. Chloe Cloud. Oh. 
Victoria Cochran. Hi, it's Tori. I'm so glad I finally made it. Um, thank you to everyone who supported me. And I can't wait to see everyone back in the States. Freedom Cody. Brian Kalamar. Michelle Craig. Colin Crosby. Kyla Mae DeCasson. Anthony Ang Dow. Thank you everybody that stuck with me from the start. And now. Justin Davis. Davis, and I'm graduating this year. Sophia A. Divinaflor. Cameron Doolin. Denia Drake. I'd like to thank everyone who supported me throughout my high school career and as well as everyone who has supported me as I pursue my dream. Sean Dugan. Jennifer Duran. Ailani Earl. Class of 2021, we finally made it. I just want to thank my parents and my friends and family and everyone who has helped me along the journey to get here. Aiden Eccles. Thank you to my friends and my family as I head off to university in the fall. Harmony Ellender. Kendall Fafatai Faavai. Spencer Faavai. Ashley Flott. Jaron Foreman. I'd like to thank my parents and my brothers for making me the man I am today and what I will become in the soon future. Thank you. Dylan Friend. Hey, hi mom, hi dad, thank you so much for your support. It's really meant the world to me. I got through high school, so big things. Brianna Fritzinger. Amare Gale. Sarah Jarrett. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout high school. Manny Gottlieb. Hi mom, hi dad. Thank you so much for everything. I'm gonna do amazing things almost every day when I leave and it's all thanks to you. Deontay Gregory. Jocelyn Gutierrez. Sean Han. Blake Hathaway.
Phoenix Height. Dylan Hilburn. Uh, I want to thank my uh, parents for helping me out for, throughout uh, high school, my whole entire school life. Joseph Hobbs. Daniel Hong. Selena Ann Howard. Faith Hu. William Hunt. Yasmin Huntley. I want to give a big thanks to all the teachers at Humphreys who supported me and helped me through high school. I will be now attending a Bethune Cookman on an ROTC scholarship and also want to thank my friends for all the long lasting memories we have. Travion Jackson. Christian G. Miles Johnson. Princess Johnson. Thank you to my family and friends for keeping me going, and I'm excited to graduate. Ian Keezer. Ashley Kim. Daihan Diane Kim. Joanne Kim. Katie Kim. Sergey Kim. Stephanie Kim. Jalen Knight. Thank you for everyone that encouraged me and all my friends that stood by me to help me on my journey for college. Richard LaFrada. Ivina Lausanne. Jean Lee. Jonas Lee. Andrew Lefebvre. Josiah Lester. Nicholas Lindsay. Lucaya Marie Mackey. Way to go, class of 2021. Ready to graduate. Matthew Giuseppe Macy. Aaron Marion. James May. Christopher McBride. Jong Ah McIntyre.
I just wanted to say thank you to my friends and family that helped support me throughout my high school years and have prepared me to go to college. Diane Menard. Thank you for everyone that helped me at the school and I plan on taking a gap year. Anastasia Mercado. Colin Metcalf. I would just like to thank my family, my friends, and my coaches for helping me through high school. Addie Miller. Isabel Morgado. Anna Lynn Morris. Cassandra and Dumbe Kong. Charles Newbegin. Ariana Ochoa. Donovan Okpoke Wasili. Congratulations to all my classmates on graduating. I just want to say thank you to my parents, my teachers, and God for helping me through these last four years. Emily Piaz. Evelyn Park. Genevieve Payne. Jackson Perryman. Jaron Peterson. Hey guys, I just, uh, I'm glad we're finally graduating. And, um, I just wanted to say uh, input progress and output results. Tara Alesa Ramboy. Valencia Ramirez. Hello class of 2021. It was a pleasure to go to school with all you guys. And honestly, I just want to thank my mom for everything. Tommy Ramos. Ray Griffin. Serenity Reyes. Hannah Rickett. Julian Rogers. Isabel Roman. John Marco Rose. Zeth Rosell. Haley Rovira. David Sheffer. Samantha Manessis Soriano. Hi, so I just want to say thank you so much to all the people that supported me throughout my whole high school journey. And I just want to say I'm going to love and miss you guys. Bye. Ariel Stakar. Chase Tabor. Hey, my name is Chase Tabor, and after graduation, I'll be attending the University of Nebraska to study focus study. 
Ivory Talifero. Trinity Thompson. Taylor Thorpes. I just want to thank everybody who helped to get me where I am. And congratulations to the class of 2021. You guys did it. Maisie Tremblay. Caleb Toba Milani. Javon Valentine. Enemoria Vidania. Hello, hi, thank you so much for watching my graduation. I hope to see you guys sometime. Bye. Lauren Villalobos. Hard work is finally going to be paid off. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Stacy Vung. I would mostly like to dedicate my graduation to my mom, my dad, my siblings, and all the Humphreys High School staff members. Thank you so much. Millicent Rosellen Weddle. Max Widely. Zoe Widely. Chanel Welsh. Arani Wilkes We did it. I'm so happy. Rip Wilkes Darnell Wilkes Rashawn Williams Eric Winkleman. Si Ho Yi. Justly Ann Elizabeth Zosa.